what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? Scott Kennedy was so desperate to find love that he used his company's credit card to rack up $5.8 million in bills. What did he use that money for? What kind of bills, one might ask? Well, turns out old Scotty boy had a fetish for escorts, and he used it to pay for his escort's lavish lifestyle. The 43-year-old who was the CEO of drug company Namera was let go after it was discovered that he was using the company's funds to pay for his Backstage.com escort, 31-year-old Crystal Longbird. Wow. Like, what did he buy? Oh, Scotty, the lover boy dropped $600,000 on new clothes for Crystal, as well as a surgery, as well as a personal driver for her kids. But wait, there's more. He also bought two brand new Rolex watches. He got a maid for their mansion, two pure breed dogs, as well as a medical spa, whatever the hell that is. Scotty also says that he paid $12,000 a month to rent the mansion all on the company's dime. Now, the mirror had found $8,800 in proper charges on the company's credit card. Scott allegedly gave his stay-at-home escort access to the company's credit card, which resulted <laughs> In 18 months of a mega spending spree, Crystal allegedly threatened Scott to give her more money or she'd begin seeing customers again. Scott told the Chicago Tribune, I wanted to be loved and cared for. My heart kind of overread my head and said, take a chance. Well, it blew up in my face. And now Scott and Crystal are under federal investigation for fraud and money laundering. Whoo! It's gonna be a tough one right here. Boy, the price of love. It's like they say, man, it's a sucker born every day. And a good hoe knows how to spot one from a mile away. Damn that rhyme. I'm about to put that in a song. Y'all write that down, remind me to I gotta, I gotta jot that down. I was live. There's a sucker born every day. And a good hoe knows how to spot one from a mile away. That's pretty good. All right. So, here's the deal, y'all. This guy, Scott, he has to be one of the dumbest people in the world. How does somebody like that become a CEO? for a multi-million dollar corporation. How does that happen? Any company that would hire somebody like that, they need to be under investigation for stupidity. Hopefully, if they're public traded, they're publicly traded, and any of you got some stock in there, you better get it out, because they don't know what the hell they're doing. How does $5.8 million come up missing over a span of more than three years and nobody knows. They said that there were over 8,800 improper transactions on that credit card spotted by the company. How does that happen? That's got to be one. Let me tell you something. Somebody was probably in on it. I, I, I just got to believe that there's somebody else on the inside working with him. It's no way possible that something like that could go undetected for so long. He said that he was duped. No. He was stooped. 
as in stupid. Who in the hell goes on Backstage.com to find love? You don't find love with an escort. You find lust. I don't know what's wrong with these men. Some of these dudes, man, they need daddies, man. We need the daddies to get in the house and talk to these boys before they become men. Somewhere daddy duty didn't get done. Where was his daddy when he was thinking all of this stupid shit? We need men to teach men how to engage with women. And every woman cannot be put on the same level, just like a woman cannot put every man on the same level. A woman cannot just meet a dude one day and bring that dude to her house the next day, especially if she has small children. You can't do that. People got, there's levels to it. People got to earn their spot. You got to earn it. You got to step up. Okay, now, okay, this is going good. Okay, okay. You've earned that spot. Okay, I'm going to graduate you to the next level. Kind of like on your job, promotions. It's kind of like promotions. You give people in your life promotions. You give them a little bit more uh, access to you. The more you learn about them, the more that you see them exhibit certain forms of loyalty. You give them a little bit more access to you. So now the dude has gotten caught, he trying to play the pity card. Have no sympathy for him whatsoever. Tricks make it hard on real dudes. Now, I'm just looking at this chick and I'm thinking, $5.8 million, he couldn't do better than that? He should be in jail for just thinking that that woman is 31 years old, for being that dumb. She must have been able to suck the chrome off of a bumper for that kind of money. Damn, that's a lot of money. Pharmaceutical companies, they spend millions and millions of dollars every year on lobbyists to get drugs approved that are inferior. They do a lot of greasing of palms. And I'm thinking the way that they caught that, they finally caught it is that they realized that that money wasn't going to a politician. <laughs> they were like, hold on, wait, 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 wait. The only time you can embezzle money from the company is that we send it to politicians. We pay our politicians and lobbyists. This is just going to a regular hoe. Oh, hell no. Hell no. I thought police, police, police. And you know when the police that they called is the ones that they pay off to. They all in the same game. <laughs> Only your physician can tell you if embezzling from New Mirror is right for you. Frequent significant drops in IQ and shriveled weenies are common. In some cases, persistent poverty, mockery from young women, and a federal rap sheet have also been reported. Talk to your doctor about ripping off Numera today. <laughs> I once heard a rapper say, it ain't tricking if you got it. Negative. Tricking is tricking. Especially if you're tricking so hard that you use your company's money and charge up the tricking and then find yourself facing time in jail. That's tricking on a whole other level. Now, the woman is said to be cooperating with federal authorities. She's also filmed herself face to face. She recorded herself face to face having a conversation with old Scotty about all of his misdeeds and how that money was directed. So at the end of the day, 
Scotty's going to be in jail. And Crystal's going to be on to the next sucker. Having a good old time. That's cold-blooded. No more talk. What, what the lady's talking about. Yeah. Order, Texas.